sit down into Vajrasana if possible. If not, bring a pillow under your hip and one pillow under your legs like this. That will be easier for you to practice yoga. Then close your eyes and sit quietly. Gently open your eyes, come onto your hands, bring the hands on the ground, take your knee back, come into the cat pose, then we want to bring with slightly forward, then we want to bring our head up and arching the back because back is very important, we always sit whole day and we never use the back, so let's work on the back to Loosen up the back, stretching, and then with exhale, try bring your chin towards the chest, giving a nice stretch onto your back. Inhale, take a deep breath in, and arch your back, bringing your head towards the ceiling, hips up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Just do these about ten times. Remember when we are opening this way, we are inhaling. And when we closing, we are exhaling. You can close your eyes if it helps you focusing. Then take your hips and rock to the side to side because our waist is also not working much since we sit on the desk all the time in the, in the office. So loosening up your back, your waist. Good. Now if you can, bringing your right hand up, look down, try balance onto three position, your knees, two knees and hands, change the hand, down, now same repeat, repeat the same with your leg, right leg straight, stretching as out as possible. Exhale, release, inhale, left leg back, stretching all the way back. One more time, leg back, down, left leg back, down, right hand, down, left hand, down, after that open your knees slightly more and sit up onto your feet and stretch your hands forward all the way and bring your forehead onto the ground. Child pose, an excellent pose as it's working for your hips, your knees, your thighs, your shoulders, your back. At the same time, it's relaxing you, 
so all the tiredness will go away stretch your body warm up your body so that you can continue practicing yoga and feel good and bring your hands under your shoulders push up then bring your hand forward and push your hips upward towards the ceiling since we are beginner we're going to work on one leg at a time giving nice stretch onto the back of the legs and you're only going to work as much as it's possible into your body you not if you can't push your leg all the way down this one then it's okay and if you do whatever is easier comfortable into your body feel good stretching nicely now we have to see where we want to work if you want to work onto your back then you're going to push your chest towards the ground push 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 and nicely feeling onto your back you don't worry about the knees whether they bend or not bend just work onto your chest and if you feel that you want to more work onto your hamstrings the back of the legs then forget about the chest just work onto your legs one at a time but make sure the chest is going slightly forward you're not doing this otherwise you're not going to feel anything right so you want to push your chest slightly down and after that you can let go and rock one leg at a time to give nice stretch to your hamstrings also remember that if your legs too far back you're going to work onto your back more and if your le leg too far forward you're going to work more onto your hamstrings so that also you can see and see which one you want to work and if you place your leg in the middle you're gonna work on both like hamstrings and chest once you're done come onto your knees again and we'll repeat one more time the cat pose to loosen up any tension and tightness with inhale lifting the head up exhaling releasing all the tightness inhale exhale inhale and exhale sit up onto your feet and stand up so bringing your feet on the ground obviously you are on the ground but bend your left knee hold with your left hand right hand up with inhale then exhale you want to go gently forward don't need to go forward too much do as much as you can don't need to be perfectly nicely just do whatever is easy in your body we are beginner we are going to build slowly and gently the pose in the beginning you are going to mumble a bit but that's okay once you are once your neurons are worked up you will be easy to hold on to the pose without mumbling bubbling that's good come down change the leg inhale exhale bend forward just giving small small stretches each time each time going slightly forward checking your limit and just going very small beyond the limit only just a bit beyond the limit not so much release shake your legs now we are going to stretch our body all the way up so interlock your hands on the top like this palm upward towards the ceiling or sky as i have sky on here then inhale and extending all the way up now remember you need to have your focus on one place so one pointed focus is going to help you balancing this pose 
exhale down one more time inhale lift all the way up all the way you can don't forget to smile and exhale down one more time inhale and exhale down shake your leg one more time we're going to do one forward bend so bring your legs about hip wide open bring your hands onto your waist inhale lift to chest up exhale bend forward and see where you start to feel stretch into your back of the legs whether here here or furthermore but since we are beginner you probably be feeling a stretch in the back of the legs already take your hand onto your thighs make sure you're not pushing onto your knees because we don't want to hyperextend our leg unless your legs are already hyperextended so if your leg is normally like that then it's okay to hyperextend but if your leg is this is straight for me and this is hyperextending which means my legs are compressing too much we don't want that or if you can have your hands on your shin bones that's also great hold it there keep your neck loose and relaxed looking towards the toes or between your feet make sure your back is nicely straight so we don't want to do this you want to keep our back straight and then bend from there so nicely l shape opposite is good good now bring your hands on your waist inhale come back and with exhale you're going to gonna give a gentle press forward just a little bit push not so much now this same movement we're going to do slightly faster so inhale exhale forward inhale back up and exhale push your hip forward back to the center exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale that's good shake your legs and sit down onto your hips sitting bones stretch your legs out shaking your leg a little bit now bring your hands on the back and shake 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 then straight your back again and push with your hands slightly you see so that your sitting bones are coming onto the ground and your tailbone is coming off the ground then inhale bring your hands up 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 and bend forward you see i didn't forward but still you will should be feeling already we don't want to go and bend our thoracic area and try bring our head to the knee we just want to keep the chest up and in that position we want to go forward so as forward as comfortably you can hold there whether it's your calf muscles or shin bones or even further i would stay here keep your head nice and relaxed look at your toes again or between your heel and if you can hold your toe is brilliant but you make sure that you're not doing this you want to have your back nice and stretched so if you can't hold it's okay go ahead hold your shin bones that's good come back to the center now bend your right knee bring it onto your left thigh hold your right knee with your right hand then inhale bringing all the way up touching your leg to the chest if possible and then with exhale pressing the leg down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up 
exhale down inhale up exhale down and release changing the leg repeat the same on the other side inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now we're going to repeat the same with both legs together both legs together so and join the feet together keep your legs slightly forward is okay don't have to be too close to your body shake your legs by shaking your legs you're giving nice stretch to, to your hips you probably be feeling onto your knees onto your thighs your back that's good now bring your hands onto your knees and gently press make sure you can check which part is easier to press whether this way is easier to press or this way is e easier to press so just go ahead and press That's good. Stretch your legs back up, up, out. Shake them again. And one by one, bend your knees. And we're going to relax in child pose, which is brilliant pose. Both is working for you all over the body as well as is relaxing. So inhale, with exhale, go all the way forward. And forehead down. And we're going to relax in this position for about five minutes. After five minutes, gently push with your hands, come back up. So that was our exercises for the beginners. I hope you enjoy it and you can practice it every day, improve your body and after that you can easily go into the advanced positions. So thank you very much for joining me at Yoga with Amit and I hope to see you in the next video. Namaste.